welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. We're going to be playing as Norman Jaden now. My favorite ace defective. Look at, look at his nose. You can see the residual tryptocaine in there. I can see the moisturizer he used this morning. Access prohibited. For your safety, access on or around the... Oh, whatever. So here we have a choice. A question I asked you earlier today. Yes. Do we arrest do we arrest the guy now or do or do we arrest the guy later? Cuz we are at the workplace of Mad Jack. He's the guy who owns the car or may have sold someone a car, an old 83 Chevy Malibu that was used most likely for the uh, by the origami killer. Gotcha. So, we get some info from this Mad Jack guy who, you know, name's Mad Jack. Of course he's fucking crazy. Of course he's fucking dangerous. I don't think he's gonna come quietly. But, let's just, uh, take a look around first. See what we can come up with. You know, I know you asked me that question today, hey, but Cracker, I can't remember. What you doing in there? <laughs> oh Norman my Jane, god, that actor FBI. is so white. Can we talk for a minute? I, I, I hope he's black. Because yeah. this to me feels like a black guy Chevrolet that's written Malibu by a white guy. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I, I can help my you remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, they call me Brick back in the prison inside, yard. Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with your big talk? <laughs> I never saw your damn uh, car. Sounds like Kingpin of the playground, Jaden. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. I'll meet you by the monkey bars in ten minutes. <sighs> Feeling sick. Got the sweats. <laughs> Already? <Hands are> shaking. <laughs> this works Come out on, man. <laughs> That was really scary. Oh, God, he was such a big, sprawny man. God. Better have a look with Ari. You never know. Well, I guess what we can do is we can pop on Ari, mm -hmm. and we can search for clues. There's another uh, clue search in part here. Oh, okay, okay. Blue Chevy, all right. This so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. <laughs> what is it? What do you think it is? You know, I thought he was going to go for another analogy. He's either clean as a whistle or dead as a doornail. The ones that don't make sense. He's either clean as a whistle or he's yellow like a pickle. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm not expecting him to make sense at this point. He's a drug addict. Maybe he's fuzzy like a whale. A whale that's been slathered in butter and served oh. at a homestead cafe. He's as hairy as a walrus. So we got blood here. Blood's never good. Oh, look. Uh, more blood. Even more blood. <laughs> Great. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Uh, type AB. I like how it doesn't scan whose blood it belongs to. Even though it can scan pretty much everything and get just get us the details on everyone who's been in here and... Whoa, that's a lot of clues. I, I love the idea of Jaden being able to say, Hey, Ari, taste this. Who dis? <laughs> Most likely a visitor. <laughs> he has to do the sound effects himself. <laughs> mm, tire tracks. Not the car I'm looking for. Tastes like justice. Ari, you say that every time. So we got a size 10 print, and we got a size, size 13. 13 print. Must be Matt Jack's size. Why y'all assuming I got big feet? No, oh, because you got a big ego. I mean, no, Jaden, You just see again. a guy my size, and you assume, you assume that I've got a size 13 shoe. Now you say, motherfucker, I wear a size 10, and that runs large on me. I, I got little feet. What the fuck you gonna do about it? I used to be a ballerina, motherfucker. <laughs> I am nimble, motherfucker. <laughs> I am fucking nimble. Watch me pirouette. Uh, you could never take my dexterity away from me. 
You know, now that'd I want to see this. That's that's how I would read Mad Jack. <laughs> Completely <laughs> against <laughs> stereotypes and all that. Here's, I'm just being tough because a lot of like junkies try to come in here and steal scrap metal <laughs> yeah, to sell for drugs exactly. and all that shit. You know, this this place is a real well, big drug problem. I've been trying to work with the mayor to see if I can you know fix if I can fix you know trying to work with the youth and all that, but it's 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 out of control, man. I tell you what. But no, he's got to be a big, bad criminal motherfucker and all that shit, but hey, you know, whatever. My Mad Jack is better. Glad Jack. Oh, God. <laughs> it, not so Mad Jack. He's turned over a new leaf. He's now Happy Jack. Have you seen my daughter? Oh, you have a daughter. That means you must be... Dead Jack! Dead Jack. Ah, I got it. I, play, play. I own the junkyard. The oh, he must be Vlad Jack. Okay. You know, with all these, we're eventually going to get Bad Jack, and then it's just going to revert back to the beginning. Oh, no! <laughs> Ooh, a pinup poster. Not a very good one, but... A pinup poster! Yeah, it's still not a very good one, but... I mean, I mean, I, I mean, if you're... It's... It's a it's a pinup poster. I mean pinup poster. I, I mean I'm a little shocked. I, I'm E Gad Jack. You know, uh, I have an associate's degree. Uh, oh yeah, you're a grad Jack. You, you know what? Same I continuously go with what other people do. You know, I'm I'm kind of in the rhythm. I like to do uh, a lot of things that. You know, uh, it's kind of a trend. I'm I'm Fad Jack. <laughs> you know, I I uh, don't have a, re a really big house. I just kind of live in this flat by myself. You know, just you know, kind of one layer. You know, a few rooms and all that. It's not very big. So I guess you could say I'm a bit of a Pad Jack. Excuse me, sir. Can you please leave my home? I'm Lad Jack. <laughs> Size ten, most likely a visitor. Brad clad, drad dad, bad clad. <laughs> I know. I've been doing that the whole the whole time. You know, eventually, if you have to fight this guy, you always go for the weak point. Always hit his nad jack. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a cool dude. Such a rad jack. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, when he was younger, he was actually very, very uh, small. He was, he was a, you know, a very, very little guy. So, uh, he was a Tad Jack. Damn it! I was gonna say that! You've made me such a sad Jack! <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, I, I think we've run out of ads. Oh, wait! No! I sell you a bunch of stuff, I'm Ad Jack! You know, I kind of like the the suit that he wears. You know, Jack's always such a just, just a sharp dresser. You know, he's uh, always in the best clothes. That uh, clad Two Jack there. You know, blue paint, <laughs> same tire tracks. No <laughs> doubt about it. The killer's car was here. Did we find the thing yet? Can I stop trying to come up with things that rhyme with ad? So he's got all these uh, little tiny nails that uh, go in the walls to hold up wires. Really, he's a bit of a Brad Jack. Oh, that was good. That was good. Well, I think we've found all we can find here. <laughs> oh, thank Christ. Pretty sure. <laughs> so, Ari, is there anything you can't do? So, uh, Jack likes to do a lot of drafting. Mm-hmm. And he does his drafting on the computer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I guess he's, uh, AutoCAD Jack. Ah, Okay. Not the right car either. Well, I have a strange feeling that we can use all this information with Ari, and, you know, if need be, we can send it to the government. Mainly their biggest supercomputer, NORAD Jack. Ah, yes, yes. Very good. Mm -hmm.
You know, he's also very angry a lot, too. I, I just see him so pissed all the time. Uh, he's, a, he's a mad jack. And it has come and full, full circle. circle. Hey! There we go. <laughs> oh, it's time to get killed. You got it. <laughs> Come from? I painted her dangerous blue. I'm a stealthy motherfucker too. That's why they call me not seen well, Ad Jack. Yeah, I like yeah, I like Mad Jack better too. I'm Blind Jack. Wait, what? You still assume you are a pig. So, uh hey, what's that? Ow. Oh jeez! Oh, oh no, my glasses! Yeah, cow! Oh. Ow! Oh, that's a pipe! Oh, it's a pipe! Oh, oh it's dangerous! It's no. Dangerous! Oh, I, I could, I could die if I'm not careful! Oh god! Oh really? This is another uh, dead section. Whoa! Yeah, Norman can die in this chapter if we're not careful. All right. Oh, oh, whoa. Don't die. Whoa! Whoa! Doing all right though. Doing all right. Ow! I just broke my femur. Oh, get the gun! Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun! Oh, shit! Oh, fast! <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. Okay, we got him. Enough Whew. fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Damn it, I didn't think of that. Well, I mean, where else would I go fuck myself? No time to lose, Jack. In the pee hole? Oh, who that car Ow! What you want don't mean Have to use like a sewing needle or something. I ain't no snitch. <laughs> you better just God now, damn it! Boy. I made myself cringe. Oh, that's terrible. Mine's so big you have to use a pencil. You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack! Ain't Comes out like a fire hose. A bit of Page one of the this is a cool moment by Jade, actually. Or be killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Stop. I'll You're kill you, and it'll be justified <laughs> too. You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. The well, thing is, about the guy. well, you wanted me to get rid you made a choice, Niskel. Get him a new arrest him now, plates. or arrest him cash, later. And I ain't the kind. Hmm. We can't so arrest him I now. Both have dropped a word to a guy named Paco Oh shit! Blue Lagoon, the car was I dumb. did say that, didn't I? That's all I know. You did say that. Oh, God damn it! You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Dude. Anything... Oh dear. Shit! Not now. Oh man, are you a junkie? Cannon, will we? Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Okay, if he spoke like that the entire okay. time, that'd be fucking awesome. Okay, R1, then X, and then L1, and then the circle. Uh, 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 fuck. <laughs> So we have to arrest him later. If we were to take the trip to Kane, we would have been fine, arrested him, and the chapter would be over. But now, you're gonna make us do the, the rest of the chapter, so now we're gonna pass out. Permanently. I thought I knocked out. Oops. I foot on my face. Well, I didn't mean so, to do that. So, like an hour later, we wake up, and, oh... Right. Oh my god, I think I just got us killed. Well, okay, let's not give up yet. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta look at the glove compartment. Fuck, glove compartment? That uh, needs a, uh, hello? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, a gun. It's my gun that I have, and I kicked it so expertly. <laughs> it's, on, it's on the steering wheel now. Oh, bullshit. There it is. Yeah, oh, all right. There so we go. let's take the gun, and then we'll just kind of yeah, shoot myself shoot in the dick. Just so. And then... Uh, bang. bang! Hey, I'm free! Bullshit! <laughs> oh uh, god, no, oh, we're probably too late though. Oh no, oh no. Uh It's not over yet! Uh, oh my god, I actually thought I, I killed us. Not for I, a second! No way! I actually thought I killed us, but we're not out of the you, woods yet. You almost did. If you would have said arrest him now, we wouldn't have to deal with this. Well hey, I made it more interesting. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I kind of gave you a mini heart attack, but there we go. Like, I know exactly what's going to happen, but just sometimes, you know, my PS3 controller is really messing up. <laughs> my R2 button just keeps sticking, just keeps sticking yeah. and sticking. <laughs> ah. they, they, are, they are not built for infinite use, I've noticed. They are not. Oh, right in the kneecap. You think you bad? You think you could write like a 1980s black guy? You bad? Come on, get jiggy with it. 
Na 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 na. What? <laughs> I say the hip, hop, the hippy, the hippy, do the hip, hip, hop, you don't stop the. Oh! Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm continuously seeing Mad Jack is kind of like a, a hybrid, just like Michael Jackson. He didn't lose any chocolate, he just added vanilla. At least it is actor. Well, I'm gonna say he's just really, really into blackface, but doesn't want to seem racist, so he has the entire body done. So, I don't feel bad at all, really. Full body tan. You know, like Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, we're, we're about to get Tropic Thundered. Yeah, I mean, uh, come on, Mad Jack's played, obviously, by uh, Ron Perlman. Can't you see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved him in Hellboy. Ow. Oh, God, we are going to die. Yeah, I mean, we're up against this... Uh, 270 pound bodybuilding strongman here, and what are we? Some glasses using dork from Beth the FBI. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Now, uh, in this situation, I'm actually expecting the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the airplane propellers to be uh, showing up behind him. That way we can pull a lovely Indiana Jones moment. <laughs> actually, uh, we, we win! Oh my fucking god. I was kidding! I was kidding! Oh, they don't want to show it? Well, uh, it's way too gruesome. I mean, he got crushed by a 17-ton crane, so, uh... I guess I mix him flatjack. Nah, it wasn't an AD, but I still like it. That's fine. I mean, flat... Uh, is, yeah. Flat, anyway, flabjack... <laughs> <laughs> On to Scott Shelby. He's certainly had one hell of, a, of an episode last time. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's the typewriter I needed. So. See if we can't find our next lead. So Scott's been so good at finding these leads. That makes sense. Turns out Good Scott's morning, the origami special. killer. Ooh. Ooh. Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along. So things with. are starting to come together a bit now. He's only a suspect, but this the car that Norma Jaden was trying to get to. Mm -hmm. Was uh, was owned case? by Paco, I think, or at least yeah, it was sold to this guy named Paco years. at the Blue Lagoon Club. Uh, I build up right, right, that's right. the same car that Madison picked Mike, up in the last episode. Origami. That's bringing her <laughs> to Paco. So now Norman Jaden and if Madison Page are on the trail of Paco. What does Paco know? What does he know? What is he doing? That's what that's what they're doing right now. Ethan Mars is still doing his harrowing origami trial nonsense or whatever. Well, I'm no so Scott. But I should be He's got to find a lead for himself, but part. let's let's take let's take a break from that and uh, mix some eggs. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay? Man, go ahead and take your clothes off. Put them on the couch. I guess. promise I won't look for the next go hour. Bedroom. It's the next door. Yeah, we can't. Oh, We're gonna be busy making eggs. Oh, sweet! We get to make eggs. So this is the most depressing fridge I've ever seen. Oh, you haven't seen my fridge, buddy. Uh, God. You, do you at least buy egg cartons? <laughs> this guy buys just two <laughs> eggs. That's it. Yeah, do they have good. egg cartons in Europe? Or do they just have single eggs that you buy? No, no, they do. At least, at least I hope so. God. I don't like egg cartons. They give me asthma. Can somebody please tell Scott Shelby that he's not supposed to eat the egg carton? <gasps> just can't, just can't, how do these work? You put twelve in at once? That's nuts! <laughs> can't, can't, I can't, I can't get past this. <laughs> he thinks that's the way you open the eggs. Puts all twelve of them in the carton and just smashes them together. <laughs> Has it all leak out into the skillet? And is like, oh sweet, I did it. <laughs> so I, I mean, trying to go with the way Gordon Ramsay told me how to make eggs. You know what? I would have figured you need a lot more cream. You, you need to take it off heat and stir it, and then put it back on heat, then mix it up a little bit, or add some oh, spices, maybe salt, salt, Jesus. and all that. But you know, I mean, it's just yeah. 
I mean, because I'm gonna, because I want to tell you, dude, what we're making right now is not scrambled eggs. It's an omelet. We're making an omelet right now. That is an omelet. It is not scrambled eggs. It is an omelet. If you don't believe me, let's put it on the plate. <laughs> Flip omelet. <laughs> omelet. You fucked up making scrambled eggs. You made a fucking omelet. Which I guess is not really fucking up because you know. You, well, yeah. Hey, e eggs is eggs. You can't unscramble an egg. Well, he fucking did it. Oh, I'm glad you found my robe. Trust me, I could fit three people home. in it. Looks better on you. <laughs> it would look even better if you took it off, because I'm cold. <laughs> You're a mother in mourning. That's, uh... <laughs> What's that? Kind of attracted to that. You going to, to a funeral anytime soon? I pick up chicks there. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. So ten years, oh, you know, thirty ten clients years using that Royal Five. One by one. That's a lot of legwork. But Except that's still too big of a of a pool of suspects. But what if? The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. She thinks that she can uh, cross the list of Origami magazines along with. The list of clients who worked on a Royal Five to write the letter that was used for little Johnny or whatever, I don't know. Lauren, your eggs are getting cold. You need to eat them while they're hot, because they get to, cold to, really quick. Go to the trouble of making an omelet. Should if the killer really used a Royal well, thing is, he didn't even make an omelet. He didn't flip it in half. Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, uh, I guess Lauren, I'm just going to waste uh, those uh, eggs. Just let just them the sit there. there like that, you know? Look, yeah, look, I'm not getting paid for like another two weeks, and I just His use my only two eggs. Help me, we're gonna find him. <laughs> I couldn't even afford the carton they came in. <laughs> they charged me for shipping and handling for some reason. I mean, my god, this city's corrupt. Ramen noodles are like 35 cents for, for a package, but to me, that's lunch and dinner. He's like a regular dick gumshoe. <laughs> it's like your salary is getting slashed again. He's like, oh man. <laughs> I have a salary? <laughs> he gets paid by commission. <laughs> God, he's not making any money anytime soon. So we've got a lead. Uh, but, but cold eggs. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you going to do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, why do you think we came out here? Unless the killer was only using his name. So. Well, I used the name of a kid who died 30 years ago. Well, that's what we came to find out. The 30 years ago, the kid who was 10, died. The origami killer may be using that kid's name. You never give up, do you? Seriously, no one ever dresses for the rain. No one has any umbrellas. It's been raining for like three days already. This girl knows her mind. I'd like to think that this is no this is one of those states or European countries where it's it never cold. rains, so they rain. never sell anything that has to do with so the rain. But when it does, oh, so, like the apocalypse that. happens. I hate We're in Pennsylvania, not Arizona. Press the hell out of me. Uh, hmm. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Well, where is the grave? Maybe you can help me, lady. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for. There are a lot of people at the graveyard today. Well, don't worry about it. Manage alone. We have a pretty sizable graveyard near where we live, and it is never this crowded. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are time. in the next plot. That girl is one <laughs> really determined chick. Okay. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Again, I think he's just saying I this out loud. Investigating Gordy Did you Taylor got right something now. to say, Scott? Here am I, I am wasting your time? In a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid <laughs> who's been dead for thirty years. He is saying this out loud. Oh he's my so God! Jeez, I'm just walking around, and my my my, at, my back is killing me. I've been walking around all day. I'm kind of sore and all that. I mean, what the fuck's up with and, this? And you know, I'm a little hungry, Lauren. Easy, the dead don't mind. <laughs> okay, that was a good line. Okay, well. Here we are at the children plot. Oh, we got a grave robber. Uh, there Eugene, Eugene Young! No, uh, he was a child because he was young! No! Excuse me, 
Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further on. Thanks. Okay, straight ahead, a little further on. That's fine. So I guess the game's gonna point me this way. That's Bill Jones, it's not him. So uh, I guess I'll just go this way. Did it point you in the right direction? Because it looks like it turned you around. Catherine Scott, Ellen Campbell. Um. Wait a minute. Uh. Uh. Right. Yeah, they turned you around the wrong way. Yeah, I think they did. All right. Well. Oh, did. Oh, I thought that was a cutscene. <laughs> I thought so too. I mean, the camera was moving. I thought, oh, oh well. <laughs> well, take it away, Mr. Cage. Go right ahead. <laughs> Here are the kids' graves. Don't you feel so sad for the for the children who were died? No, they're dead. Fuck them. <laughs> Jeez. I, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. So instead of straight on a little little fur, a little ways further up, how about just right over here? You, you can literally just point your finger and go, It's that one right there, right over there. That's the grave you're looking for. Instead of, oh, you got to go straight on, you know, take a left, a right, you know, all Looks that like shit. Looks like still tending the grave. But this seemingly insignificant person is still having people tend to the origami graves, including figures. an origami. Hmm. That's one hell of a coincidence. Huh. Oh, youngin'. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I know everybody I buried. I was about to say, you look like a corpse, friend. October, I think. So in October of 77, we're going to go on a flashback! Woo! Yeah, oh, good. I, I needed uh, time to look at my phone. Let's see what's going on in the world of Twitter. But this is a playable flashback, so put your fucking phone down. Alright. Alright. Put your fucking phone down, you good for enough of the place to sit. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day out. Let's see who can hold their breath underwater. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. <coughs> Come on, let's go play. <coughs> <coughs> oh, the irony. So, running off right now is right. John Shepard. We are, day. I assume, his Why brother. Well go and play? Okay. So, does Being it stand to gain that the person a we are dead. playing as right now is the origami killer? I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I don't think so, because, uh... I mean, un unless there's more context into how John Shepard died, why would we assume that this kid did it? Well, let's find out. I mean, unless we push that pile of bricks on him, that'd be kind of funny. Okay, so... Uh, oh, sorry about that, brother. I'll just... Uh, well... Uh, oh, why'd you wear your cleats today? Ah! <laughs> Golf cleats, Why? I didn't want Daddy to beat me with him, so I wore him. I have the high ground, Anakin. Oh, wait, wrong Star Wars. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I can't see that scene without Shaggy and Scooby. It's just too fucking funny. <laughs> I thought you were going to drop him, <laughs> I'll be honest. Well, it, okay, you can go back to Twitter he if you want. Because now we're going to have I'm some whimsy. This is what David Cage likes to do. He likes to have David. whimsy in a backdrop of melodrama. So uh, okay. this is going to be just some kids playing through a construction zone. Look oh at them. God. So carefree. The innocence of children and bonking your head on a fucking twisted screw that's coming out of the fuck. Ow. Uh, fucking. Okay. One of them's going. Uh, just let me know when one of them is about to die, so I can look on screen. It's it's gonna be a while, so just just uh, fill some dead air somehow. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is a new mechanic. I gotta 
actually tilted. It's actually. Huh. That's kind of neat. That was back when, you know, motion controls and six axis were a big thing. I gotta say, I haven't played it yet, but I'm getting massive Life is Strange 2 vibes right now. Then how are maybe. you getting the vibes if you haven't played it yet? Because I'm thinking maybe Captain Spear can come and save me. Oh, okay. And Life is Strange 2 is about a couple of brothers who are down on their luck, running away from home, yada yada, whatever. Okay. At least I assume. I'll have to pick it up at some point. Oh god, this kid is no fucking... Constant energy, jeez. Okay, so X. Square. And... They're off! Here we go! That's really high, though. I don't know if I... Damn it, I wanted him to run right into the wall. I did, too. I just wanted to... Ooh! By the way, earlier, I'd like to point out a, uh, a mis... Not a misnomer, but a, uh, a faux pas on uh, John's part. He called us a slow poke when we are, in fact, a slow king. Actually, we're his brother, so it's a slow bro. God damn, you're too good at this. nothing but a slow poke. Fuck you, I'm a Steelix. Come on, loser. <laughs> I have the heart of a Heracross. Don't test me, brother. Here, well, let me get a Kangaskhan at what you. you and Wait, I, I, did, I did that wrong. My bad. <laughs> I'm gonna slash you like a Scyther. I'm gonna slash you like a Renamon and... Wait, hold on. That's totally wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna make you see Anjumon. Uh, no, wait. <laughs> time to rip Beyblades! <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> it's time to duel, John! <laughs> Just a complete mismatch of all the kids yeah. showing an anime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's get Ultimate Muscle in here. Let's get Sonic X in here. Let's just get a bunch of shows. That We're all gonna of go us Super to Saiyan. Then we'll. <laughs> I, don't any, I don't know any other show in anime reference. God, these I'll, kids are such I'll, weebs. I'll, I'll go fourth form Hokage. Whatever. I don't fuck. <laughs> what the I'll fuck is One Piece's version of a Super Saiyan? I know they fucking I have it. What is it? Here. King of the Pirates. What the fuck ever? <laughs> At least I assume. You, you, know, you, should, you should all stop watching anime and play David Cage games because they have so much emotion. No, no, please. It's like I'm watching an anime already. This kid's so dead. <laughs> this kid's so Yippee dead. Yippee-ki-yay, that's, that's, that's an anachronism because fucking Dry Heart didn't come out until 88. 87, I think. Whatever. Are you talking about anachronisms in a game that came out in, Ooh, what, 2009? 10. 2010? Wow, this game's nine years old. Holy Why shit. Do it's too hard for you. No oh, that, do that makes right. me hurt a little. Just watch. Well, up we go. Right, just remember what the Pharaoh taught you, whoever I am. Dude, I could put an end to this right now by just saying, I'm telling Dad! Holy shit! That is brilliant! Uh, I mean, screw what I was going to say about Heart of the Cards and some bullshit. You really honestly could say, <laughs> I'm telling Dad. No, wait, wait, no, no, wait, please don't tell Dad. Don't tell Dad, no. I'm still getting the glass out of my eye from the last time. What if it's one of those situations where, like, Mom is worse, but she's always on, like, business trips or whatever? Oh, so no, Mom's sober. That's why she's worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell Mom. Oh, Fuck. Beats the fuck out of dad and then the kids. Well, <laughs> so the game's telling you, "It's like, oh, you bet, you better use the six axis to balance him, otherwise you'll fall. You won't fucking fall. I'm just holding it steady in my hand. I'm not touching anything. I'm just going on his own." You know, I kind of want to see that scene where mom comes home, where dad's like, he, he's got the belt, you know, it's in his hand. He's the whipping is going, you just wait till your mother gets home, and then you see a frying pan come flying from the door. Wax him in the you? back of the head. What if I told you we're gonna meet mom later? Aw, oh, sweet! Not here, but like, present day mom. Okay, uh, present day mom is 40 years ago? Hmm. Something like that, you know, t 2010, or uh, this takes place in 2012, and uh, this flashback is 1977, so it's, you know, 87, 97, 97, 97. Oh, so yeah, mom's the origami like th killer. Th like 35 years, maybe, I'd say. You know, that's... Yeah. 
34 years? Well, whatever. 30... It is, it is more than 15 years. Gotcha. And he's mauled by a bear. <laughs> I'm told that. How the... F you gotta see the fingers I got on this shit right now. I, I wish I could. Can we get finger cam for... I gotta, maybe, I gotta like, use my episode? thumb to mash like three of the face buttons. It's crazy. <laughs> so I got my fingers in a fucking pretzel here. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20. And count to 20 fun. and uh, don't look in the meat grinder. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Two, three, Seriously, you're going to have us do this? Four, Fortunately, though. David. Five, six, ten, thirteen. He's a dirty fucking cheater. 17. 18. He just can't count. One, two, three, six, thirteen, seven, 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 twenty. Twenty. Here I come. Oh great! He got himself fucking caught in something. Oh, that's not good. My foot is stuck. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, t I'm telling Dad. Uh -huh. You better help him, or else he'll die. What would happen to the story if that happened? Yeah, it's not like there's a grave with his name in the. F oh. oh, fuck. Yeah, this kid is gone. Die. He gone. Die. Hang on, John. Uh, I'll get help. Just hang on. Wait a minute. We went like five hours oh, without oh, like figuring out where we are, because we just ran everywhere, so we're probably like three bucks away from Dad. You're dead. I'm oh, no. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, Cole. Don't drown. He drowned. The poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in that pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, well some I say he defeated who he who must not be named and got a lightning bolt-shaped scar on his forehead. Adopted. Some say he got the Sword of Grayskull. Well, looks like a storm's coming. The storm's already here! I guess I better be getting home. Nah, it's gonna be twice as much rainwater. That's a storm for him. You got you like two days of constant raining? Oh, well, it's like, well now a storm's coming. Really, well, I, just, I, just, I just... Really, I just don't want to talk to you people anymore. You made me sad. That's just a Monday in Pittsburgh. Do you think he... <laughs> he could be the origami killer? Come on. Let's get back in the car. Well, see, he's just trying to get back at a sewer pipe that killed his brother, so he'll eventually work his way up there, but he's got to test it There's out on kids else first. For us here. Let's go. There's nothing else for us here. Oh, is that him? Let's go. Is that him? There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. There's nothing else for us here. Lauren, Let's do you go. think that was Okay, him? Scott, I heard There's you! nothing else for us here. <laughs> Wait. What's the matter? The plot thickens further, though. That man over there. <gasps> yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? It's Charles What's Kramer. Doing? The guy who we had that golf meeting with. The guy whose son what said, I'm the origami killer, all that John shit. John Shepard's grave. Hmm. So many questions to ask. Next time on Heavy Rain.